Welcome to our 11th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 11th of August, 2020. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, the colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility directly in the webinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Of course, you know what? We will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. This webinar will also be recorded and, as always, uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, and our YouTube and Vimeo channel. You probably have all seen here in the project center the portion costs. This should be the topic for this webinar today. As the name suggests, this also plays a role in the area of the estimation and could make your estimation much easier and flexible. But before we get into that, I would like to make one thing before. I would like to show you the so-called three types of costs. For this, let's take a look in the additional settings and there you can in special area, there you can find in special area estimations. And here you have the possibility to create your own cost types. But what does that mean? For this, a little explanation and a few examples. Cost types help you to make your calculation even better and, yeah, even clearer. Perhaps you have ever asked how you can include components in your cost estimation that should only be added by profit or that should not be calculated with the profit or so on and so on. Or maybe you have seen the profit for other costs in the calculation data and you want to use it. For such items, you can create corresponding cost types here. But enough examples, we'll do this now. So for this, let's make here one and uh, make, it, make it for automatic sliding doors. Sliding doors. So I think most of you buy these completely in addition and yeah, I would say accordingly, you only want to charge it with a special profit for other costs. And for this, we can assign this here. We accept that. And when Logical had saved the settings, then we make here a new text position. Also, also here in special brief description was wrong here. I delete it again and make it again. So automatic lighting door. Okay. Yeah. Everything else, you know it. Quantity of one piece. And now it is important. Here you can assign this to the part of the automatic sliding doors here. We have costs of 6,000 euros here, and you can also add some labor hours. You can also add texts, pictures, everything you want. Also for text positions, a small tip here. Text positions cannot be saved in the position library, but if you need more and more often similar text positions or similar texts and so on, you can create a sample project and import the required positions directly and easy into your actual project and only what you need. For this, you can use here the function import from and import from the project. Okay, but now let's continue and close here the text position. And I said before that, the, that these cost types can make your calculation even better. And for this, we select only this position and take a look here in the estimation. It's very fast because we only have the small position, only one price, and you see it here, the 6,000 euros are here in the 
yeah, cost type together automatic sliding doors. This is very unspectacular for only one element, but imagine you have a very large project with many, many different positions and many automatic sliding doors or other things. You can make it for, for much different things. And for this, it is very, very nice. You get a very nice overview where you can see how much money you will you have to pay for the different cost types there. And this is not only uh, possible here in the text positions, this is also possible directly here in the position. When we take here a look in the door position, the additional articles, and yeah, as an example, we have a big entrance uh, element where you also want to have in this element an automatic sliding door, and you can add here a new and yeah, make it a free article or what you want. And here you can also say, please, logical, please put also this in the cost type for the automatic sliding doors. Okay. Also, this possible, and the end of the estimation, then you see of all the positions, everything together. Okay, now perhaps the question arises why I am explaining this to you when this webinar should be about the apportion costs. First, is the use of the apportion costs so simple that I could not nearly fill 20 minutes with it? The second thing is, you can get out of these cost types directly some, yeah, I would say global apportions, apportion costs. For this, we go back here in the additional settings and also here in the part of the estimation. And here you have to activate this directly to cost types. Okay, we accept this. And then let's take a look here in the portion costs. And you see here now all the cost types as a portion costs. And yeah, there are five standard things directly from Logical and yeah, also some others. If you need more, you can add here yeah what you want for to show to you i take here an example yeah for for protective foil that's a good example protective foil we have a price of 50 cents and we had to give logical in reference and here it is very important that you take the right one because when you take the first without then logical takes the price and brings it on all the positions. So logical looks how how much is the cost of the different positions and bring it, yeah, bring the 3,000 euros or 2,000 or what you want to all the positions, to all the elements. It is good, for example, for registration costs or something else. In this case, we don't want to put it on the whole positions. We want to say logical, we have a price per square meter, 50 cents per square meter. Please calculate how much we need. So here we can say per square meter, and that's the right way for this example. The next point, assignment quotation, is also important because here you can say, yeah, how should it be displayed in the quotation? And especially for these services, which are not common, it might be very useful to display this only as an option. Take a look and say display as option. The price can be seen in the quotation, and yeah, and the and it and it is not in the final price. And uh, yeah, last but not least, also here the assignment for the estimation, and here we take yeah installation looks good. And before we confirm this now, let me also point out by checking the box in calculation data. Here with it, when you activate it, you have the possibility to add in the calculation data special discounts for the project, uh, some additional multis, some special profits, and so on. Only the possibility, we don't want to use it now. Okay, we accept these. And now, logical gives here the whole project cost directly to you. And when we make the elements bigger or smaller, it's every time actual. And I said to you, you could also see it 
in the quotation. And this is what I want to show you next. We go here very fast through it. Don't want to change something. Only want to see here the result and just see it. The option protected for seven euro twenty nine cents here. Okay, very easy and very cool. So you see some apportion costs, some global apportion costs for the project. But what is if you need it for only special elements? Also no problem. Therefore, you take here a look the additional data of this window. So, and here you have the the function other costs, and now you have the same window as you know from the project costs, and here you can take the same or add some special which you need here only for this position. So. Put it together, no matter what you want to calculate via the dimensions of the element and so on, just use here the apportion costs. I'd say to you, it couldn't be simpler. I close it and when I take a look on the clock, I see we have some time. On the one hand, the apportion costs help you to calculate very quick, very easy, so that's very good. But after the calculation, you have to bring the quotation very easy and very fast to your customer. And yes, you said bef you see before how fast it could be, and I show it to you again. I only take the report, take the settings I want to have, and could I could change the price and also the text here in the price input window, but I want to do it. I won't don't want to do it. And the quotation is ready. So this is very fast, but when you take a look here in the text of the of the door, it's very technical. It's very technical because these are the technical texts directly of the supplier. So, and if you want to change something, you can do it in the price window, but you have to then to do it every time, and that's not what we want. What we want to, I have a much easier way for you. For this. Go here in the user database the, in the system article. Logical loads the whole database of the supplier ESCO. And before the webinar, I take a look and uh, which door lock we want to we have in this in the store. It's the ESCO door lock 25896560, and then we can take a look here in the database for this special lock here. Take here the, the article number 25896560. And here you have now the special setting that you can make your own description here as you want. So, what you want, you can bring it here. So, I'm not so creative. I make only a special door lock, save it. And now let's take again a look on the quotation. We could go through it. We don't have to change here some text because Logical does it for us. And here we see now the special door lock out of with stainless steel. So it couldn't be easier. Very good. So with this, you make it with, with all the articles you use very often. And I said to you, it helps very, very much. And you make it one or two times, and then you get very, very fast quotations. And when your quotation is good, perhaps the customers orders the elements in your company. And then you need an order confirmation. And also this, you want to have very fast and very easy. Logical has not, from the normal installation, there's no, no special order confirmation report. But when we take here a look on the quotation, I would say there's no, no big difference be between in quotation or in, on order confirmation, only some text or so. For this, we could copy this quotation report. Therefore, we go here in the settings for the reports and Take a look for 
our report. And here in special hint, if you make your own reports, then um, put the short, uh, the company, your company shortcut in front of the name, and then you can find your own reports very easy. So, okay, what's wrong here? I only want to, so, okay. So what want to have, it's an order confirm confirmation. Okay, and we don't only want to name it on this way. We also want to have that there's standing not quotation in the top of this report, but order confirmation. So therefore we can here change the report title and order confirmation is one possibility here. We save it and then you could add some, some special text and so on. And then you can see it here on the left side. And you have also the order confirmation very fast on the same way you get here the quotation. Yeah, at this point, this also works with the invoices and other yeah delivery notes and so on. And try it out. And if you need some help, contact us. We help you with that so that you get the best and fastest quotations, order confirmations, and so on. At this point, when I take a look on the clock, the 20 minutes are almost over here. And uh, shortly before the end, I would like to give you, it's still uh, a short preview for the next time. And for the next time, I've already heard several times that you definitely want me to go back into the input of the machining sin in webinar. And this is exactly what I intend to do next time. Be curious for that. And if you haven't done it yet, please register directly via our homepage. At the end, the usual final note, if you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together, stay healthy. Until then, see you, bye.